Hi YouTube and happy Saturday. It's around 8.20 p.m. Eastern Standard Time here in Oxford, Ohio, south of Oxford, Ohio. And today I'll be demonstrating my MLA30 active magnetic loop antenna. I got this on eBay for about $40 and I've mounted it on a six foot piece of PVC pipe mounted in this support, this base down here. This was originally designed to support a fan, a standing fan, but now I've adapted it for the active magnetic loop, MLA30, that works from 0.1 megahertz, 100 kilohertz, the long wave band up through medium wave, and then shortwave from 3 to 30 megahertz. And I'll be testing this shortly. As it says, it was receive only. There's multiple ways I could have mounted this, but I just used two screws to put the base of the antenna on the post. And for the loop here, up at the top, I just used a little zip tie. I have this pointed roughly Northwest, north, northwest, and it should have some directionality. Hopefully I'll be able to pick up Radio Exterior de España and HCJB from Quito, Ecuador later in the video when I test this out with my SDR. From the bottom of the MLA30 comes an SMA cable, and as in my previous videos, I've threaded this through the window here and this is where and you can see my PL380 set up but I'll have the laptop set up down there for the next part of the video. Eventually I hope to have everything my you know shortwave listening set up ADSB that you saw in earlier video and in addition possibly an APRS I gate or digipeter once I get a license all set up in this patio. Maybe even something with that Yagi that was for HDTV mounted up there. I could mount, you know, more antennas on that pole. Anyway, let's head inside and have a listen. See how this performs relative to that PL380 just with its telescopic whip and relative to the long wire. Apparently this should be better for dealing with noise. Anyway. In a moment, I'll move on to our listening demo. All right, now it's a bit past 8.30 Eastern Standard Time, or 0.30 hours UTC. And before I show the rest of the setup, let's get a view of that beautiful sunset. A beautiful sunset here in rural Ohio, which my cat's enjoying a lot, aren't you, Mangle? Meow! Yeah, I'm, well, she's enjoying it. We can also see the... PL380 right next to the SMA line from the ML380 that's coming in. Okay, so we see that SMA line coming in, but there's one part of the setup that I've neglected to mention that I left for this part of the video. And that, which we're looking at now, is the bias T. This is the amplifier that makes an active loop antenna. It's amplifying the input from the Antenna input on the left, and then out to the receiver output on the right. It's powered by a power. It's powered by a USB power supply with a micro USB connector. Mine, I believe, is five volts and seven hundred milliamps. But as it states on the bias T itself, this needs to be five volts and 0.2 amps. So I have, I have plenty of of power available, and that might introduce some noise, but it should you know, really amplify the signal throughout and help us, you know, pick up more signals. Anyway, so that finishes the description of the hardware setup. Now let's turn to my Chromebook, which has the RTL SDR attached through an USB extension cord. We have um, shortwave.info open, the RTL SDR I'm using. I'll see if I can get a picture is a rtlsdr.com v3 i've shown in some previous videos there it is right there 
uh, metal casing. I've had very good luck with this, and it's it's working fine in GQRX for me. I have it connected through a USB extension cable, so I don't have to worry about damaging the USB port and, and ripping it from the motherboard. That shouldn't be a problem, but you know, you never know. Okay, and I'll go ahead and zoom in on the screen here for our listening part of the session. Okay, so this is shortwave.info just to figure out what we're listening to. I'm hoping I'll pick up HCJB from Quito and REE from Noblehaas in Spain. Okay, and that's our GQRX output now. We can see plenty of signal. 6050 should be HCJB. Right, Mangle. Mangle! Okay, yeah, let's turn the sound up. She's done. Yeah, I'm not really getting a lot. Let me take a look at what Jill Letternell had of the official SWL channel had, had suggested. I'll turn something more interest turn to something more interesting for now. 6180, which is Radio Radio Nacional da Amazonia. That's from Brazil. That's clearer than I've gotten it with the SDR. That's really nice. I'm hearing less fading in and out than I heard just using the long wire. I might be able to get what I think is XEPPM on 61. Yeah, there you go. Let's see 6185. I think if I'm I'm getting it, that would be the first time I'm getting, I'm getting XEPPM from Mexico. That's incredible. That's a big boost over the long wire. Oh. No, I was probably still listening to... Amazonia, but if you know if you look in the screen closely you can see two peaks right next to each other. Okay. Yeah, let's try it one more time. It's not so pleasant. Well, that was WTWW. Radio the Rebelde, pretty good. Mango likes this short way of listening. Okay, let's try REE. Huh. Yeah, nothing for REE. Radio Marti. Huh, nothing there either. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it's really good. Uh, Radio Habana Cuba. Yeah, this is even better than the long wire, I think. Either the amplification's helping, or, or just the um, reduction of noise from the loop. Okay, so I'm looking at my chat with uh, Jill. Yeah, so... Um, 
60-50 for HCJP, I might... Yeah, this is better than I got with the long wire, honestly. Less fading. Also... Also, Radio, Radio Nacional da Amazonia. Let's see what this. Eleven eight hundred. That's pretty weird. Yeah, I don't think anything on 11800. Uh, let's think of some other stations. I'll go back to 11760. And I'll also probably try a little bit of medium wave listening. That's really good. Oh no, REE now. Hmm. Yeah, today would be Saturday. Yeah, I must have missed it. Yeah, I get, uh, it looks like I'd probably pick that up better during the week. Yeah, right now from in 6050, it should be HG... H A H C J B Quito and three nine ninety five. No luck with H C J B. I'll just have to keep trying. Um, let's try some. Go back to... Yeah, that should be Radio Rebelde. Oh, that's pretty good. Now let's try some medium wave listening. 700. Oops. That's pretty good, I'd say. Let's think of something else. 1120. Oh, yeah, this is fantastic for medium wave. Let's try uh, 1610. Toronto. That should be Cuba. Uh, 640, I might pick up Cuba. What else might I pick up? Um, KDKA. Uh, WBZ. Um, WHO, maybe? Yeah, maybe not quite as good. And WTAM. Yeah, I think that's a lot stronger than what I just used a wire. Um, 
Let's see, 1210 WPHT. Yeah, just take a look at that medium wave band. You know, I'm getting tons of signals all through it from this antenna. It looks like it's good for, for DXing on medium wave as well. I've, I'm, I'm really impressed so far. I mean, you can compare this with my previous videos with a long wire, but I'm just hearing a lot less fading and at least picking up RN to Amazonia and RHC a lot stronger than before. Hopefully I'll be able to get um, HCJB Keto. I can try right now comparing with my Texan a little bit, and I think you'll find that the MOA30 plus SDR is, is better. Actually pretty good. And to close out the video, let's hear... Yeah, I'd say the SDR is better. I can definitely hear on the Texan. But let's go back to that SDR. See how it sounds. And that's how I'll close the video. Radio Nacional da Amazonia from Brazil. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's I think was was pretty simple. I I'm impressed with this MLA30. It takes up a lot less space in the long wire. Apparently, it's less susceptible to noise. It's amplified though, which you know might introduce electrical noise. I can try this again in the future without the amplifier and see how the results compare. If you have any suggestions, questions thoughts, uh, comments, or, or other ideas of what I should change with my MLA30 setup, please let me know in the comments section down below. As always, like, like and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching, and have an excellent rest of your weekend. Take care now. This is a quick follow-on to my last MLA30 review video. I want to point out a couple of things. One, a little correction in Portuguese, it's not Rádio Nacional da Amazonia, it's Rádio Nacional da, uh, Rádio, uh, Nacional da Amazonia. So, that's one thing I correct. And then the second thing is when I took out the, um, I, I, I don't want to demonstrate, but when I took out the bias T, I barely picked up anything, so that seems to be really necessary here to give you a good signal. This is Haju Nacional da uh, Amazonia that we're listening to now. Brazilian classics at 6180. Anyway, I hope those two facts are helpful. It's now 9.20 p.m. and I'm you know picking up plenty and this is definitely worth the purchase. Less noise, great, great signals. I'm even picking up CFRX Toronto. Take care now. Have a great rest of your weekend.